वेलकम बैक गाइस सो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस लीड कोड बाय वीकली कॉन्टा 60 द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द मिडिल इंडेक्स इन एरे सो नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक वी आर गिवन एन एरे व्हिच इज जीरो इंडेक्स्ड एंड व्हाट वी हैव टू फाइंड इज वी हैव टू फाइंड एन इंडेक्स सच दैट द सम ऑफ द ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ दैट इंडेक्स एंड ऑन द राइट साइड ऑफ दैट इंडेक्स शुड बी इक्वल सो हियर यू कैन सी द कंडीशन सो नाउ लेट्स सी द अप्रोच लाइक देयर इज नथिंग no kind of specific approach uh, we will directly see the code like because directly we can see that how we can implement it because it is direct implementation question so yeah what i have done is i have taken the total sum of the elements so like and also i will maintain a current sum pointer of the array if i know the current sum and total sum then i will then i can calculate the remaining sum of the array how we can do this is like i know the current sum like this is current sum uh, let me open the paint now let's suppose this is the array so what i told is i am maintaining a current sum pointer which is like this which will store the current sum and what i what i already know is total sum total sum okay so now let's suppose i know the sum till here so how can i calculate the sum of elements residing here i can directly calculate by total sum minus current sum minus the value at this index at which we are taking checking like whether this element can become our current like middle index or not if this can become our middle index then what should be the condition that current sum should be equal to the total sum minus current sum minus nums of i okay so if this condition holds true then we have found our middle index so we will return this index i have simply coded this so we can see like it's simple implementation based but then also i have then despite that i have explained my approach so yeah like we can see the code also the code is like this like i have calculated the sum and then as i told i am doing like that only that i am storing the current sum and i am checking whether the current sum is equal to equal to sum minus current sum minus terms of i if that is so then i will return that index because that would act as the middle index otherwise i would return minus one so yeah, this was the solution for question one thank you guys